how can we implement several decision control and iteration statement such as switch statement and jump statements in java hello everyone i am sukanya from goedu hub technology and in this video we are firstly going to discuss about several decision making statements in java and then implement a program with the help of it so decision making structure have more than one conditions to be evaluated or tested by the program along with a statement or group of statement to be executed if the condition is determined to be true and optionally other statement be executed if the condition is determined to be false so here you can see that programming logic begins with the condition if the condition is true then the conditional code has to be executed and if it is false then it is going to end there are various types of if statement in java a simple if statement that tests the condition it executes the if block if the condition is true if else statement if else statement also tests the condition it executes the if block if condition is true otherwise the else block will be executed now if else if ladder so this particular executes one or more condition in form of multiple if else statement nested if nested if statement repeats the if block within another particular block that is a nested condition has been built of if statement here the inner if block condition executes only when the outer if block condition is true similarly that kind of a ladder formation is done next is iteration statement now a loop statement allows us to execute a statement or a group of statement multiple times and following is the general form of loop statement in most of the programming language for example if the condition is made with a conditional code and if it is true then the code will execute and then condition will be checked and if it is false then it will end so iteration statements for that there are three types of loops in java loops can be also called iteration because it is repeating again and again until the end condition is reached there is firstly for loop for loop is used to iterate a part of program several times if number of iteration is fixed it is recommended to use the for loop while loop while loop is used to iterate a part of program several times if the number of iteration is not fixed it is recommended to use this while loop do while loop do while loop is used to iterate a part of program several times if the number of iteration is not fixed and you must have a execute the loop at least once then you want to use the do while loop similarly there is switch statement also the java switch statement executes one statement from multiple conditions if else ladder statements the if the statements work with byte short int long enum all the data types string and some wrapper data types such as byte short int and long since java 7 you can use string in the switch statement also in the other words the switch tests the equality of variable against the multiple values for example if i am making a program of the days of week then if the user enter the day of the week as particularly the third day of any particular week what day will be it considering that zero is sunday then obviously the third will be tuesday so it will check for sunday monday and then it will stick to tuesday that okay this is the third day of any week can be said that tuesday considering that zero is sunday so this is how switch statement actually works or even if you want to check for vowels for string also you can check and you can make several cases in that that a e i o u if user enters any among this five alphabets of the uh, particular string values then you can check that these particular five set of vowels are particularly vowels it will display that the entered character is a vowel otherwise it is a consonant so such kind of program or such kind of programming logic can be otherwise executed with the help of switch statement next is jump statement so first statement and jump statement come as break break is used in switch also that terminates the loop or the switch statement and transfer the execution of the statement immediately following the loop or switch that it terminates that particular execution that means in switch case after giving certain number of cases then you have to just show that okay then the entered alphabet is invalid suppose if any uh, user has entered something other alphabet or any other string or number then if you want to display that this is invalid then you can use a break statement and then you can just system dot out print ln that invalid entry similarly there is continue 
continuous statement causes the loop to skip the remainder of its body and immediately reset its condition to prior to the reiterating so it reset the conditions and then it's continue return return statement we have used in many programs that the return statement is used to explicitly return from a method that is it causes a program control to transfer back to the caller of the method that is it is returning any particular value of a particular function and transfers back the caller of that particular method so here you can see a program code is written over here and several values are uh, initialized with integer that is x is 40 y 20 a is 2 b 4 c is 3 and n is 0 now here we are using the nested if and what we are checking is if a is less than b and if b is less than c also then here you can see the nested condition the nested if this particular if will only be executed if the previous if condition is true otherwise it will execute the else condition so this is how if else and nested if actually works similarly you can see here the case of switch statement so here in switch there is a variable n is there and if in case one system dot out print ln addition you have to print off those two similarly in next you have to print the subtraction then division then multiplication and then modulo division and if any default input is entered then it is an invalid input next is the use of continuous statement you are printing odd number of series and if the modulus of by 2 of that particular number in the series is equals to 0 then continue even if number is even skip printing it that is you can skip the printing of that number for example 0 to 10 this loop will execute less than 10 so there comes even numbers in the series so what to do for that so you just continue that particular statement and then print the odd number series Similarly is the return statement use of here that before the return you can execute and compiler will bypass every statement after the return and it will return that this won't execute. So this is how this particular thing is done. So let us execute this program and see that how the output differs or it actually matches the command. So here you can see that I have written the program also and saved my file as pr1.java. I have compiled the file and there are no errors and then I have run the class file that is prog and I can see that the value of n is 4. So these particular conditions are tested in the nested if and then the value return is 4 that only this condition is 2 and matching that's why the value is 4. Similarly multiplication is also print and the odd number series and before the return with the help of continue and return statements are print. So by the end of this video we have studied about several uh, methods which can be used in the jump switch cases and iteration statement and decision making statements of java and also seen that how a program executed with the help of it for more concepts of java programming we will look into upcoming videos thank you